Jesus is renowned to have said these words. In Luke chapter 10, the harvest is plentiful, but the workers are few. The harvest is in plenty, but we have very few who have taken it up. The question is, are we prepared for the season of harvest that lies ahead of us in this new year, 2020? Stick around right here on Seatum Church Online. When I look at the times of Jesus, the times of the early church, they are no more different than what we are witnessing in our day and age. At one time when Jesus was about his ministry on earth, in Matthew chapter 9, verses 36, the Bible tells us that he looked upon the crowds and he was moved with such great compassion. Why? They looked harassed, helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Now you can agree with me that we are witnessing one of the greatest times of hopelessness and disparity that has never been witnessed before in the world. From the young and old, from the rich and the poor, even to our own children, times are quite difficult. And the question is to us today, are we prepared for the season of harvest? Jesus, at this very particular time, from chapters 9, part B, through to chapter 19, part A, is renowned to have been on a journey to Jerusalem. Now from chapters 4 to 8, he had come and presented the good news to the poor. So he comes and he sets the precedence of what his mission on earth entailed, preaching the good news of his kingdom to the rich and the poor. So at this very particular time in chapter 10, he comes and he sends out the 72 and he sends them out two by two. But right before he sent them out, he makes it known to them that the reality of it is that the harvest is so plenty, but the workers are few. He goes on to say, ask of the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers in his harvest field. Now this is what I believe in, that this prayer can and will be answered by you and I when we take it upon ourselves that the place where God has positioned us is a place of purpose, is a place of advancing the kingdom of God. I believe that God is waiting upon you and I as we are known to be the greatest carriers of this message of hope. God is calling upon you and I to go forth and share the good news of Jesus and share the good news of the gospel. I believe that you have what it takes because when you are a child of God and a believer, the spirit of God dwells in you. The spirit of witness dwells within you. And my prayer and my hope is that we will look at each and every day. We will look at our community and our space and realize, behold, lies an opportunity for us to draw men and women to the cross and to the saving grace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Proverbs chapter 11 verse 30 says, He who wins souls is wise. May we be wise in this season and win souls to the glory and the honor of God. 
Yes, there are doors you will knock onto. There are people whom you will approach and they will turn you away. In fact, Jesus said in verse 3 of Luke chapter 10, I am sending you out like, like, like sheep among wolves. And he told them, you will walk into some places, you will talk to some people and they will reject you. That is okay. But if that happens, move on to the next person. But now that we have breath in us, may we take it upon ourselves to draw as many, to reach out as many in this harvest field that actually belongs to God. So that when a time here on earth comes to an end, we would have served God's purpose in our very own generation. The Lord bless you and do you good.